This is the brand new Ryobi Swift Clean Carpet Spotter Little Extractor Unit. What makes this thing so cool? It is part of their OnePlus brushless battery operated lineup. So really, really cool. Uh, this is gonna be comparable to all the Bissell Spot Clean Pros and things like that. Uh, smaller capacity, but battery powered and at a really good price. So in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing this thing, seeing exactly what it comes with, talking about the price, and then testing out the functionality to see if this thing is worth your hard earned money. But before we get into this thing, guys, really quickly, it is Black Friday week. Thursday, today is Tuesday, Thursday is Thanksgiving, and then obviously Black Friday. So I wanna let you guys know, if you're watching this right now, I'm going to be running a sale on my personal website, dtlrsupply.com. 20% off the entire site, except for a few items from the Rag Company. Um, but the Rag Company is running sales as well. So if you need those items, just go over there and get them there. So 20% uh, off code will be BFD23. Along with all the items, the MJGC Foam Cannon Pro, the SV3 uh, towels, uh, products, all that kind of stuff, all the chemicals you need. We also have the new Happy Detailer line of t-shirts, guys. This is the t-shirt that I produced. Um, I wanted to bring merch to you guys. These are gonna be 20% off as well, so get it while you can. It's a limited edition run that I'm doing. I have new designs coming, but we're gonna be uh, presenting these kind of one by one, I think, until I get a better idea of it. But anyways, BFD23, detailersupply.com, go check it out. All right guys, so here we go. This essentially, I ordered this kind of different than it's supposed to be ordered, but essentially you can either get it tool only, which comes with a bunch of components, or you can get it with a battery kit. So uh, that would be a charger and a battery included, a four amp hour battery. Again, I ordered it differently because I wanted to test out a few things and I also ordered some ex additional accessories like this guy here, a four inch cleaning uh, wand. So uh, especially when we're working on cars, a four inch is gonna be very, very beneficial because it's gonna fit into the tighter spots. Now with that said, let's go ahead and open up, again, this is the tool only kit. Uh, but again, just, just remember if you get the other kit, it just comes with the battery and the charger. So let's go ahead and pop this open and see exactly what this comes with. Now the kit only, or sorry, this unit only, uh, retails for about $169. And then if you go with the battery kit, it's around $229, I believe, but it's currently on sale. We're in the Black Friday zone right now if you're watching this at a later time. This is filmed at Black Friday. So this is currently on sale for $199 with the battery upgrade kit. But uh, let's go ahead and unbox. You got your owner's manual. Warranty, all that kind of good stuff. Um, packaging's super nice. Everything looks really, really good. Pull the unit out right off the bat, guys. Really nice handle right up top. So I like that. Let me just go ahead and see where the bag opens in the back here. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. There we go. And there is the unit itself. Really nice storage on board. Everything looks really, really good. Uh, a couple more items inside. We have a little rubberized brush. That's gonna be great for pet hair, guys. That'll definitely help remove things. And then a bottle of OxyClean. Now, before we get into this too deep, again, I wanna unbox the other items for you. I ordered this all separately, so again, unit only. Um, then I also ordered a two pack of batteries, uh, just because at the current time that I ordered this, um, I wanted to have two batteries so I could really test this thing. That's the only reason I still would highly recommend just getting the battery included kit. It's a little bit more, but still a really good value. And on the website, it shows that it's a 15 minute runtime for the battery. Now, additionally, guys, I do recommend this. This is like a $25 accessory, um, but very, very beneficial if you're going to be using it uh, in your car. But what comes in this kit is a nice small uh, uh, wand extension, right? So nice and easy. And then they have these little pieces that pop into place. So you have a brush attachment. Uh, let's see how this goes. pops right in there like that. So you're good to go. You can brush and it still sucks through right there. And then same thing, you can just pop this one off. And then you have the rubberized version. Again, great for pet hair and things like that. So just slides right in, this piece snaps right over and you're good to go. So that's gonna be the exact same thing, just a smaller version compared to what it comes with. So right off the bat guys here, let me pop this off. You have the hose that stores nicely on the unit itself. You have the nice wide extension, I don't know, six, seven inches, something like that. And you do have the brush attachment already installed. You can pop that off. And then you do also get that rubberized one that you put on there. So cool. Uh, aside from that, you also get a little crevice tool. Let's see how to take this off. Right here. So it's like, I mean, it's really the size of your finger. So you can really get into tight spots with this thing. Uh, you still have the water injection and suction it looks like you inject water, scrub, and then it looks like you would flip this over and suck out that way. Um, 
So we'll test that out as well. Now the battery compartment is right off the back. So this will, this one is not charged, but just to show you, just sits off the back like that. Still have the handle nice and easy to move around. The batteries are great. They do have charging light indicators. So you can hit the button and it tells you where it's at. You have your on off switch right on top. It's just on and off. You have this little eject button here where you can actually hit that. This pulls out and then you can deal with this separately. This looks like it's going to be your recovery tank, I believe. Where's that vacuum go to? Yeah, this will be your recovery tank. And it's an interesting thing, guys. You can see this is a very large tank. However, the max line is right there. So it doesn't look like it holds that much capacity, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, on the other side though, you do have your little, let's see here. There you go, that comes out. You fill this up with water, you just pull this off, fill it up with water, and it shows it holds 36 ounces of fluid here. So right up to there, or you can do a half tank at 18 ounces. And one more cool thing, guys, is as you have this out, you can spin this around, and they do have a quick start guide right here. So you can actually just scan that with your phone. It'll give you a nice quick explanation on how to run this thing. So guys, why would you want this unit over something like the Bissell Spot Clean Pro, which is in that same similar kind of price range, or their new uh, Bissell Little Green Hydro Steam unit that actually has steam or normal extraction? I mean, if you look at these, both of these have larger tank capacities and all that kind of good stuff. So um, the real reason you would go with this machine over one of those is the ease of use. No cords, guys, battery operation, that's awesome. This is a spot cleaner, right? You're not typically gonna be doing really, really heavy extraction with this. So the 15 minute runtime on that battery should be all you need. You're gonna be dealing with little spots here and there. So uh, with that in mind, the tank capacity yeah, it's way smaller. It's, I would prefer if it was, it was a larger tank capacity. But again, we're talking about small stains around the home or in your car, something like that. A little spill happens. You just want to grab this and get it taken care of quickly. You don't have to worry about uh, powering it with a cord. This thing's ready to roll with batteries. Okay, guys, so my battery is all charged up. Just finished charging. That took about an hour and a half to charge this battery from out of the packaging to fully charged. But it is now, let's see, hit the indicator. It is now ready to roll. So we're gonna throw this in the back of the machine. Good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and fill my water reservoir here. And um, OxyClean, right guys? Let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. Usually they recommend putting it in here, running it through the machine. I don't do that. I will use this as a pre-treatment, um, but I don't like to run any sort of chemical solution through the whole line. I just feel like it gives the opportunity to clog the lines over time. So I just use water in these personally. Um, this is not a heated unit, it's just cold water, but you can add hot water to it. Um, and then that way you pre-treat and you use the machine to rinse all that contamination out of the fabric. Now, once you're done reclaiming all that water out of the fabric, again, you can remove the, uh, the tank. This is your reclamation tank. And then from there, it just has this little tab here. You just lift it up and it has a nice seal. So it has this nice little gasket right here along the side and it seals on there very, very nicely. Why is that important? If it has a bad seal or it doesn't uh, seal up properly, you're gonna lose suction. But this thing seems to be really, really strong on that suction or on that seal. So I'm happy with that. And then you have this, you just dump it out and you're good to go. Always rinse it out afterwards, but let's go ahead and test this thing now and see how it actually works. Alrighty guys, there's two things you wanna consider when filling up your tank. Uh, when you're doing carpet extraction or, or fabric extraction of your, your sofa or whatever else, it's important to use water that is clean. Uh, use, try and use distilled water or deionized water. Deionized water is harder to get, so distilled water would be great. Um, if you use just regular tap water, it can have organic compounds in it that could actually leave some resoiling in the fabric. So you know, try and use pure, clean water as much as you can. Now, when filling this unit, it's really, really nice because the way they built this, it is completely flat here. Pops down, so it's easy, very, very easy to fill up. It just pops down, you fill it up there, or you can run it under a sink. Again, I would recommend using distilled water, so not a sink, but um, it's small enough to fit under all that and be really, really nice. Okay, so we've got this thing filled up with water. We've got the hose extended out. Not a huge hose also, guys, consider that. I think it's a four foot hose, but I will say, Four feet long enough because this thing is battery powered. You don't have to worry about a cord. You could, if you're working on a car, you can literally put this on the, on the floor and work on the seats or just carry it around and work as you go. So um, I don't have any issue with a four foot cord. It does have nice storage for the cord and the whole unit. So I like that. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Oh yeah, no cords guys, this thing's great. Suction's, suction's pretty good. I'm actually surprised by that. 
typically these things don't have the most suction, so you're gonna want to let the carpet or seat or whatever else um, dry out properly because it doesn't have the most suction to remove all that water, but this is not bad at all. Let's go ahead and remove this just so I can see um, what the smaller attachment looks like and, and, and feels like. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and attach the brush attachment to it. Again, just slides right in, slips over this piece, snaps into place really, really easy. So here we go. Yeah, it feels good, at least. Yeah, so the suction feels decent. It's not, again, still not a crazy amount, but decent. Let's go ahead and pull the trigger and see what kind of spray we get. Nice wide fan, guys. We're getting coverage from end to end on this brush. So that's a big, big point. Now you do have a little bit of a gap in the middle. Nope, we're good. There's still water coming through there. It's just converging at the middle, so it looks like it's not. But we're getting good coverage all the way through, so that's fantastic. Now let's go ahead and move on to this small little crevice tool because this thing is very, very interesting to me. And especially when working on a car, I think this is cool. Like if you spill something between your seats, you'll be able to get in there, spray some water, agitate, flip it over and extract. But I just wanna make sure that is the actual functionality of this thing. Let's go ahead and pop it on here, turn it on. Okay. And I am correct. The suction is on this side. The spray pattern is gonna come out here where you can agitate and then the suction will be over here. Suction feels very, very strong on this side, guys. Because it's a smaller uh, opening, very strong. Go ahead and pull the trigger. Whoa! I was not expecting that. So no fan, it's literally just spray. And that sprays a, <laughs> a whole lot further than I thought it was going to. So, um, I, yeah, man, I don't know. I wish they'd kind of put a smaller orifice there meaning a smaller little hole here uh, where the water comes out, because that way we would get a little bit more of a, a, a fan or something, some more of a mist versus that is just, that's a lot of water. However, with that said, with that amount of water, you'll be able to scrub and get the stain out. Um, and then this side does have so much suction that you, it will, it'll be equivalent to um, the smaller units or the, the, this style unit where not, it comes out in a nice fan, but the suction's not as strong as this side. So, um, I don't know. I, I Personally, I wish it had a little bit more of a fan, but again, beggars can't be choosers here. This is a fantastic price of a unit for a battery powered unit. All right, guys, big problem. Before we go out and test it on, I'm just gonna clean a seat on my van. Um, pretty significant problem here. The unit is dry, right? You saw me, I just sprayed it over here, no problem. I filled the tank separately. Look at this thing. I'm gonna give it a little shake. Well, you see it dripping? Let me go ahead and dry that off and make sure that it's not an issue that there was just water there and it actually is spilling. Hang on. So we got a drying towel here, guys. It matches perfect. This is the Harbor Freight drying towel. It's a plush towel. Matches the unit pretty, pretty well, gray and, black and green. Uh, let's go ahead and clean this up. Clean off the bottom of the machine. And it actually makes sense to me now, now that I'm seeing this, because the water solution is in a hose within the hose. Let me see if I can film that for you. It's gonna be hard to, for you guys to see that. But the hose is actually in the hose and then comes out here, right? So whatever the attachment point is here, let me see if we can tighten it down maybe. Let's see if we get any more drippage. Yeah, seems like we're okay now. Okay. And as you can see, guys, we're still dripping. Not a lot. See if you can... And again, I don't know if you're gonna be shaking it like this, right? So keep that in mind. Let's go and turn it on. Spray some water through it. See if we get any drip. And we do. So, is it the most sealed unit? No, unfortunately it's not. That's a little bit of a bummer. And maybe it's just this unit, guys. Again, I just ordered it, I don't know. Um, but quality control could be a little bit better on that. If it was sealed, I don't like that it drips. Um, but anyways, with all that said, let's go outside and test this thing out. I'm going to be using the OxyClean um, cleaner here. Just to show, this stuff actually works really, really good. 
Um, I, I actually like it quite a bit. So we'll go ahead and use this. I'm going to pre-treat the stain and then we'll extract it out. This is my work van, guys. This is, uh, I actually had an employee that was out in this thing all the time. I don't know if he kept a, a drink between his legs or something there, but it spilled. It's a dirty spot. So we'll see what we can achieve with this. Okay, guys. So as you can see, I don't know if you can hear, okay, it's pretty windy outside today, but there is the stain. So I'm going to go ahead and get in closer for you. So you guys, here is the stain. As you can see, it's pretty nasty, pretty dark. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pre-treat that and then you know, do the process and see how it looks afterwards. All right, guys, again, here it is. We're gonna go ahead and spray the area pretty liberally. I'm just gonna kind of let that dwell in a little bit. Now, the truth of the matter is, is a lot of these chemicals are so good now that you don't even need to extract. I could probably lift this out without uh, an extractor. The, the, the key with the extractor is removing all that chemical. You don't want that chemical to stay in there. It can cause resoiling and all that kind of stuff. So getting it to remove is essential. All right, now, because I wanna only use this machine, I didn't even bring a brush. I'm just gonna be using the brush that's on here. Before I do anything, I'm just gonna agitate the chemical a little bit. And I'm gonna try and get a video of this on my phone so you guys can see. So there's the stain, right? You can see it's just kinda of gooped up and nasty. Um, but it's already kinda of lifting out as I'm just scrubbing it. Again, these cleaners are so good now, they do a really great job. So I'm just gonna grab a microfiber towel and see what I can absorb out just from that. And as you can see, my towel is filthy now. Uh, so it's picking up a lot of the dirt already. But again, we wanna make sure that we're extracting all that chemical out as well. Uh, the stain is definitely still here. You can see the, the ring of it right here. So we'll see what we can achieve. Guys, also, when you do an extraction, you wanna make sure that everything's vacuumed properly first so that you're not dragging it across. Uh, just a little side note there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and reapply some more product. Again, just let that dwell a little bit, and then I'm gonna fire on the unit and extract. All right, guys, so here is the stain. As I said, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the unit on. What? There we go. It is on. Again, I'm gonna agitate some more, and then we're gonna go ahead and inject the water and start extracting. Guys, I'm very, very impressed with the suction power of this thing. It feels really good. I'm just agitating a little bit more. Again, this stain is very, very deep and has been there a while um, as this employee has been using this thing. So I may have to do a couple of passes and a couple of uh, you know, applications of the cleaner, but it's already looking, it's right now 95% better. Uh, we're gonna let that sit, dwell up a little bit again. Gonna take the brush and just kind of rub it in get all that stain loosened up. Okay, good to go. And go ahead and extract again. Now, the extraction or the spray comes from back here. So if I just do it here, look, I'm missing the brush attachment quite a bit. So you wanna start spraying up higher and then pull it back. As you can see, we're still pulling up stuff out of the carpet, or I'm sorry, out of the fabric of the seat. But let me go ahead and spin this around for you guys because the stain's gone. So as you guys can see, well, it's still a little bit there, but overall, it's looking way, way better. Ah, no, it's still there. Uh, significantly better than it was for sure, but let's go ahead and I'm going to keep working on it now. Um, that's not a blame of the, of the shampooer of the extractor at all. Uh, this is just a really, really deep stain. So, um, I, again, I don't know what that was originally, but it's something, something that maybe coffee or something, I don't know, that's been sitting there. So I'm going to go ahead and just treat the whole seat now and, uh, see if I can get this looking better. And guys, one more thing, as you can see, as I'm using the machine, look at all this leakage. What's up with that? I'm not happy with that at all. It's something to do with the connection point here because the water's coming through the hose and coming into here. And you can see it's you know cleaning out that water and getting all that nastiness out. But man, that is a lot of seepage. That should not be happening.
All right, guys, so there you have it. As you can see, the stain looks 100% better. It looks way, way better. Still a little ring. It's just, it was a really, really bad stain. So you have to keep, take that into account. But overall, it's way better. Now I could obviously the edge of the seat, I don't know if you guys can see that, right down here, um, is still wet and not done, but uh, everything else is looking really, really good. Okay guys, so that's it for the stain extraction. Uh, what do I think of the machine? I, I like the performance. I hate that it's leaking that much. I, that's unacceptable in my opinion. Again, maybe it's just this unit, um, but I even tried messing with this and trying to get it to seat down more and it just doesn't. So I don't know. I don't know on that side. Let's go ahead and empty the tank though now and take a look at what we were able to pull out of that seat. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in and show you exactly what came out of this. All right, so here it is. Let's go ahead and pop the top off of this thing. There we go and see how, I mean, that is nasty, nasty, nasty black water. Really, really gross. So yeah, the thing does its job very, very, very well. Battery operated is awesome. Um, the leakage is a big bummer. Uh, let's go back into the shop and talk about it. All right guys, so it is now opinion time and please keep that in mind. This is my personal opinion not a direct uh, reflection of this thing, but uh, from my experience, I think this is an awesome tool. Functions really, really well. Battery operated, which is fantastic, but it has one major flaw. That leakage is unacceptable to me. Say I was working on something in my house. Say my couch had a st uh, spill on it. I have hardwood floors. Say I'm cleaning that stain, not paying attention, and I look over and this thing's leaking out all over my hardwood floors. I would not be happy about that. It may just be this one unit, guys. I don't know, but from my experience, Awesome machine, one major flaw, and that is the leakage. Um, other than that though, guys, I, I, again, this is Black Friday sale time, and this thing is currently on sale. You can get the whole kit with battery for $200. Doesn't come with the smaller attachments, just with the wider ones, but the smaller attachments are 25 bucks, so not a big deal. Um, I think it's worth buying. Home Depot has a fantastic return policy. If it does leak on you, take it back and be like, dude, this thing leaks. I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but other than that, I think it's a really cool, Really cool little unit. Again, the capacity is not as big as the Bissell Spot Clean Pro. However, we're just doing spots here, guys. It's not a full extraction. You gotta keep that in mind. Use it for what it is. Um, and, and it's just for cleaning up little spills here and there. So the battery function is amazing. So with that said, guys, I hope that video helps you. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you're subscribed, turn on that notification bell, and we will see you on the next one.